I say you cannot. I say why? I say because I'm Dr. Apoki. I'm your friend Dr. Charles Apoki. camera will pan around as I'm talking and only a few people all over the world will know where I am but definitely they will know where I am if you've been to this great place one of the things I have learned about life I learned it from the aircraft when you enter a plane they'll start demonstrating the safety procedures and then they will say in case there is a decrease in oxygen pressure that oxygen masks will fall from the roof of the plane and that you should put the mask around your face and fasten the strap and then that oxygen will automatically start flowing into your nostrils. But make sure you put your mask first before you help another person. Because if you don't have oxygen in your brain, you cannot help another person. You see, I see people trying to do philanthropy with poverty. You cannot do philanthropy at the level of poverty. You cannot do philanthropy at the level of the mentality of the poor. If you are to do philanthropy, you need substance. And for people to give to you, you need to have value that you bring into the lives of the people or the values they represent before they will give to you. If people are suspecting that you will eat their money, they won't give to you to do philanthropy. During the flood disaster um, that came in 2022, I asked for donations from all over the world and people brought a lot of donations, food materials, and we distributed to people in different parts of the Niger De of Delta State. They said that it is only Dr. Apoki's, uh, only Dr. Apoki can ask for donations from the people that we will give to, because they trust you, they trust me. So you must have integrity, you must have substance and value that you have created for yourself and in society, that people will trust you and entrust you with resources. Don't do philanthropy with irresponsibility. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles. Have okay. God bless you.